Hello, I'm your friendly neighborhood, Louis Perez, and as you can probably wonder, Jason isn't here because, well, for one, it's the middle of the night, you know, Jason wouldn't be here at that time, and, uh, I, it's not, it's not Saturday or Sunday, so Jason can't visit, so, but this is, but this, but the news I just heard today is so shocking and so important, I just had, I just had to get it off my chest right now. Apparent. So as you can tell, as we, as you can tell from the title, is some more Spider-Man news, some amazing Spider-Man two news. If you want to get more specific, um. So here's the topic. Um, there's been rumors of who's gonna be the Green Goblin, whether it's gonna be Norman Osborn or Harry Osborn. And I was hoping that it would be Norman Osborn because, because because as you as we all know at this point, I love Venom. He's my favorite. Spider-Man, but that does not mean I don't have a deep connection with the Green Goblin, and I loved Norman Osborn's Green Goblin, like, he was so menacing, and such a great villain, and, you know, and, and I really didn't want it to be Harry Osborn, like, I don't mind it being Harry Osborn, but, but if you have Harry Osborn become the Green Goblin before Norman dies, it was just ruin the whole, co it was just ruin it, it was just ruin the continuity. For the comics, I mean. And, um, so yeah, so I was hoping and hoping that that would not be the case, and that was only a rumor. That is until. <sighs> I heard it. That That is until I. That isn't until today when I heard. When I heard some more news from The Amazing Spider Man 2. Apparently, someone, someone got a hold of a sketchbook. That, ha that has some storyboards of the Amazing Spider Man 2, you know, showing some scenes like Electro versus Spider Man and that. And one of the scenes was Harry Osborn, you know, having his skin change and having sharp, sharp claws and sharp teeth. And that can only lead to one thing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they have just been confirmed. Harry Osborn is the Goblin. <sighs> How do I even begin? Now here's the thing. I don't mind it. I don't mind Harry Osborn being on the Green Goblin. In fact, that was one of the most interesting plot lines in, in the Amazing Spider-Man comics is when Harry Osborn got the mantle of the Green Goblin. Hey, even he, even Spider-Man 3 did that. But the what but the reason this one doesn't work is because, well, we have just established Norman Osborn in the first movie, and we're about to see him in this movie, along with Harry Osborn, and he's not become the Green Goblin yet. Norman Osborn hasn't even, no one knows if, like, Norman isn't even the Green Goblin yet, and he hasn't even died. So, like, the whole thing about Harry becoming the, the Green Goblin, it's just, it just feels like nothing, and again, it ruins the continuities that happen in the comic, you know? Like, it makes no sense why Harry will become the Green Goblin. Like, in the comics, it makes sense, you know, like, like, in this, in the comics, Norman Osborn died, and Harry blamed Spider-Man, so he, he wanted to get revenge by becoming the Green Goblin. It makes sense there, and even in Spider-Man 3, Harry Osborn became the Green Goblin. Now, in that way, it was poorly executed, but, hey, at least they did it better. But... But in this one, it's the other way around. Harry Osborn becomes the Green Goblin before Norman Osborn. What? Oh. And that's not only the worst part. Well, that is the worst part, but still. He doesn't even become the classic Green Goblin. Yes, the classic one with the glider and pumpkin bobs. The one that made Green Goblin, well, the Green Goblin. They apparently go for the ultimate version. And if you don't know what the ultimate version is, pretty much Green Goblin is like the Hulk, you know? He's just a big green monster. That's that's all that is. And I and that is just that just makes it more disappointing, you know? Like I I only puts more salt in the wound. And to make it even worse, he not he might not even become the Green Goblin. Like seriously, not even he might he might become the Hobgoblin. You're probably wondering the, Harry the Hobgoblin? Yes, apparently in the comics, Harry Osborn does become the Hobgoblin. And in the Ultimate Comics, just like Green Goblin, he becomes a Hulk monster. That does not help you. That does not help this movie either. 
So he might, we might not even have the Green Goblin in this movie. Just Hobgoblin, and he's not even a goblin. Okay, he's a goblin, but not the one I don't remember. So I. There's just how do now here's the steps why I don't think this one works. One, it doesn't make any sense. Again, the comics made a lot more sense. Harry won revenge. Okay, that's a good motivation. But here, it makes no sense why Harry Osborn would become the Green Goblin or Hobgoblin, whatever you want to say. I don't care. I don't care. Oh boy. At hey, at least in Spider-Man 3, he had a reason to become the new Goblin. <sighs> still, there are still a lot more to talk about. In 2, the fact that he's the, new, the ultimate version of the Green Goblin only makes it even more worse because I really wanted the Green Goblin to be to be brought back to the big screen because imagine how it would have been like Green Goblin and his glider doing pumpkin bonds with Spider-Man, his dodge and his wet. But in this movie, it's just gonna be the exact same. Like, like I do not want another monster battle here. I don't want it to be. I don't want this to be like the Amazing Spider-Man one with the lizard. We already had a monster there. We don't want another monster now. So yeah, so that's another issue. Another one. Now that the that we know that Harry Osborn is gonna become the Green Goblin or Hobgoblin, when you wanna say it like that, this can only lead up to two scenarios. One, hopefully one. Of, Hopefully, it uh, only one of them becomes. Hopefully, one that will. That hopefully, hopefully, the second one will be the one. No, from the one. Norman Osborn dies, and Harry goes insane and puts the goblin serum, and he becomes well the goblin. The second one is that throughout the movies, Peter will think that it's Harry Osborn who's the Green Goblin, but near near the near in the, in the somewhere in the movie we find out that no it's Norman Osborn that's actually the Green Goblin and I hope it's, I hope they do it like that they do go for the whole Harry Osborn becoming new no, no Goblin but still I do not like the idea of Harry Osborn becoming the Green Goblin it's almost the same as as Mandarin in Iron Man 3 like we were expecting this big villain to be in the big screen for the for the again but it's just another villain who don't really like, get to care that much. Like we do care for Harry Osborn, but dude, we all know we want Norman in, in the Goblin mantle. We all know that. Oh my. So yeah, so yeah, I want I made this quick rant so I can express why this idea doesn't work and why Mark Webb shouldn't be doing this. Like I was hoping that the Mark Webb series can do this why and stick it close to the comics. That means that. Norman Osborn will not kill Gwen Stacy. No, Harry's gonna kill Gwen Stacy. And that is just. Yeah, that is complete and utter. Like, that, that destroys Harry's character completely. Sure, he wanted to kill Peter. But he what did not but he did not put other people in danger just so he can get Peter Parker. So that would just destroy his character altogether. <sighs> I I hope that the story. I really hope that they, the Mark Webb doesn't do this. Like I'm begging Mark Webb not to do this, because I want to see Green Goblin back. I want to see the true Green Goblin, and I want to see it with Norman Osborn. Until then, until we get other news that Norman Osborn will become Green Goblin. I'm afraid we have to. I have, I'm afraid that is nor. I I'm afraid Harry is the, is the goblin. Like, like this would have been a great plot line for the for the fourth movie, because it would have because it would have made more sense. You know, Norman died. And he wants to get revenge. It would have been a great plot line for the fourth movie if they if they don't go for the Sinister Six plot line with with the gentleman. It would have been a great plot line. But no, they just have to introduce Harry Osborn as the Green Goblin or Hobgoblin, whichever you want to say it, right now in the Ultimate version. That's. Ugh. Okay, let me just end this rant before I go up, before I, before I go crazy. Overall, so yeah, Harry's the Harry's the Goblin. Whether it's Green Goblin or Hobgoblin, we don't know, but. He is definitely the goblin, and it's definitely the ultimate one. I really hope it isn't true.
I really hope these. I hope that's not the actual story that they're gonna go for. Like, so yeah, Harry's the goblin, or hard goblin. Yeah, goblin. <sighs> anyway, I'm Lu I'm your friend in the neighborhood, Louis Perez, and good night. <laughs>